Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fly With Me Friday. We are here with... Isaac. <laughs> We're here with Isaac. We're gonna take him flying. Have you ever been in a small airplane before? No, not even close. <laughs> not even close. Have you ever thought about being in a small airplane before? Yeah, I just never had the opportunity. But we're gonna get you up in my carbon cub today mm -hmm. and show you a little bit about what flying's all about. And that's the whole purpose of Fly With Me Friday is really get people an aviation experience that have never really had it before. How are you feeling? Are you excited? You're nervous? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty scared. I saw you guys coming in and I, it's super warm, but I've been shaking. I'm finally calmed down now that we're just sitting here, but. You are the star today. I'm a bad example. If I start screaming, <laughs> you'll probably do better. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> what do you say we go flying? Let's do it. Let's do this. All righty. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I noticed there's no oh crap handles. Yeah, you don't. You won't really need to hang on to anything. I'll keep you coordinated and in your seat, bro. Trade table up in the upright lock <laughs> position. Yes. <laughs> I love it. You, you said you did your first flight when you were 16. How did, how did that all even start? I mean... How does a 16-year-old go about piloting a solo plane? <laughs> well, when I was in the second grade, you know how you have to write book reports when you're in grade school? I wrote it just by chance on the P-51 Mustang, which is a World War II fighter airplane, right? Uh-huh. I just fell in love with it, and I just kind of became an aviation nerd. <laughs> so when I was 16 years old, I wanted to get a job so I could go start getting my pilot's license. I gotta tell you, I bagged a lot of groceries. I was gonna ask, how many hours did you have to put in <laughs> to be able to become a 16-year-old pilot? Oh man, a lot. It took me basically the entire year, but it, it was timed perfectly because right when I turned 17, I got my license, dude. So you worked your butt off at a very young age when other people are just slacking off, and now you're just, for fun, giving that gift that you work so hard for yeah. to random people like me. Dude, it is That's so awesome. much fun, which we're about ready to go and show you. I'll do a kind of a mild takeoff, so I won't climb very steep, but if you feel good, I'll check with you. All right. Okay, woo, okay. Okay, so this is a mild takeoff. <laughs> we're, we're, we're above the ground right now. We're, we're in the air. Okay. You wanna see a steep takeoff? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, here we go. That's a steep takeoff right okay. there. <laughs> How you feeling? I feel great. Good, okay. If you, if you had like just one last flight, like for some reason an alien race invaded and they're like, look, Corey, we're gonna give you one more flight. You can only listen to one song on that flight and then that's it. What would that song be? It has to be Freebird. <laughs> I mean, look what we just did. We just took an airplane off and we basically go wherever we want. Where do you wanna go? Well, I'm gonna take you and show you some cool stuff. What do you say? Yeah. I mean, this is this is the epitome of freedom is being able to jump in your own airplane and just go and go fly the thing. I love the mountains. One of my favorite things in the world are the mountains. Okay, so we're gonna drop into this little canyon here. Wow, this is beautiful. All right, so we're just kind of shooting down this little canyon. It makes a really sharp left turn up here, so I'm gonna hug the right side, and we're not gonna get super low yet. I would have never known there's like jeep trails up here and. There's usually elk and deer and all kinds of fun things we can see. Are you a hunter? No. I, uh, I don't say that as if I wouldn't hunt. I just, I fly too much. It's kind of like Star Wars pod racing. That's right. We're looking for that target at the Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> Stay on target. I know, right? So I could call you Blue Leader. Yeah. It's not a Top Gun reference. Star yeah. Wars. There you it's go. Completely different. Of course, I like the red team. Okay, red leader. <laughs> he, he's like the first one to die. <laughs> I know, right? That might be wrong. Ooh. They're the front line. <laughs> Woo! I'm a front line kind of guy. <laughs> okay, so we're out of the canyon. There's one more up here that I like to show people. And the reason why I like to is there's usually elk or something in it, but we'll find out. <laughs> that was fun. How are you feeling? You feeling good? I feel great. Awesome. I'm still just in shock over this. Really, like you said, just seems like that freedom. 
Oh yeah, for sure. You're not necessarily bound by by takeoff run pads or. I mean, heck, you just drove through a canyon. Yeah. Going wherever the heck we want to go. So see this little dirt road off our left here? Yeah. What do you say we land on that? <laughs> yeah. You want to try that? Yep. Okay. Because, I mean, we are in a bush airplane. Might as well. We should land in some dirt. Let's try it. There's some, they're either white tail deer or they're antelope. I'm willing to bet it's antelope. Let's go check it out. They're antelope. Isn't that cool? So we're just going to find a spot on this road, put her down. There's a little wind. We'll have some fun doing it. Oh, hey, guys. We're just landing our airplane here. No big deal. No big deal. This is a this is actually a closed off road. That's why I used it. There's no traffic on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, can you pick me up from school in the bush? Beats traffic. Okay, so that's what you would call an off-airport landing. I wouldn't call it a bush landing, because bush is like you're landing in that field down there. Yeah. But you can tell there's really nothing to it. You just land, and no big deal. And this is really something incredible that, that you're giving me and, and the last guy is, uh, it's unbelievable gift. I'm just curious to know your heart behind it. There's a pilot shortage right now. We need more pilots. Where's my heart? My heart is with my kids. I want them to be able to have this same freedom that I do, to be able to go out and do this. We got to find people that are not involved in aviation at all, because that's who we really need to give rides to. It's not the people that are already interested in it. It's people who, who, who might be interested in it if they're exposed to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so that's really where the heart is. But right now it's all, it's all just me having fun. There's a, uh, a life flight helicopter just off our right. Just right, if you look right there, you see a red and white helicopter yeah. over there. But it was definitely a life flight type helicopter, an emergency helicopter, so. But I like to keep my eye on traffic. You ever seen anything strange? Oh man, I've seen a lot of things. But most of the stuff that I see is cool. But the other stuff you can't talk about or else. No, there's, I mean, Right. You see, in anything, you see air, just about everything. I've had uh, two engine failures and had to land the airplane with no engine power. And they're just a non-issue. It's not a big deal. You weren't flying it upside down through a barn? <laughs> no. But, I mean, I'll show you what it's like to fly an airplane with no power. That's it. We have no power. The airplane's still flying. I can still control it. I just got to pick a spot to land, right? Yeah. It's no big deal. scary a little bit. <laughs> but, no, it glides just fine. I mean, you got plenty of time, so I'd probably be, I wouldn't pick a road because there's cars. I'd probably pick that little strip right in between the two roads, and we'd be fine. I'd just land the airplane and get out and go, dang, what happened? For a split second, I thought, uh, we're still, thought it was just going to nosedive. I was like, all right. No, we're still, no power. The engine's at idle. We're not making any power. But now I add the power, and we're off to the races again, right? Totally realistic. Airplanes don't, if the engine quits, the plane just doesn't, like, fall like a leaf out of the sky. <laughs> absolutely positively doesn't happen airplanes are you know in fact they're, they're they're you can see how stable they are i'm not even touching the controls right now yeah like dude the airplane's doing great count, count to 20. look mom no hands count to 30. i mean it's still i mean i'm in the traffic pattern we're in a turn the airplane does great on its own you know um in fact model airplanes the little rc toys are, and drones way harder to fly than a full-size airplane they're just not as fun, because <laughs> you're not up in them. So we'll, we'll come in for a landing, no big deal. See this little, that's a big hawk, like a peregrine falcon or something, or a hawk. Heaven. Just sitting there on the dirt. Having big dreams. Just chilling like a villain. I'd be like those guys someday. <laughs> so we're on the ground now. The tail is not on the ground yet. Now it is. Oh. What'd you think, man? <laughs> <laughs> he enjoyed it. Maybe too much. <laughs> that was incredible. That was. Oh my gosh. If if you ever have the opportunity to do that in your life, if you have to rob a bank, don't do that. But if you have to do something else that's morally correct, do it. Because that was incredible. <laughs> well, thanks for flying with me. Yeah. That was awesome. Oh I had gosh. a great time. Awesome. Airplanes are cool. So what did you think of your flight today? How'd you, how'd you do? 
I, I have no idea. I have nothing to compare that to. I mean, against other people. I don't know how I did for myself. I loved it every minute of it. It was nothing like I expected in some ways. It almost felt like you're just in, in a car that just can, can go. It's like it's like a video game with a cheat code. You know? <laughs> I <laughs> but love you, it. But you're there, and it's weird to like look out and see a tree just float right by you, and you're like, you've only ever seen trees there. I, I don't have good words to explain it. Yeah, it's totally a different perspective. I get it. I get it. I've, I've I was once. And a pure earth dweller, now I fly in the sky. It doesn't seem, <laughs> it doesn't seem real, you know? That, that's it the is. thing. It, it is, it is surreal. Yeah. It doesn't seem... <laughs> Speechless! Mission accomplished. That's awesome. Well, hey, I just want to thank you for coming out today and, and yeah. taking the opportunity to experience uh, flight. It's a passion of mine that I have loved my entire life, I for the why. most part. Yeah, and so thanks for sharing it with me, bro. I appreciate it. If you want to see more Fly With Me Friday, smash that subscribe button. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment, share it with your friends. We need more people to take flying. We'll see you on the next one. Woo! I'm trying to remember what I ate for lunch, if it's going to taste good again. <laughs>